So, in front of me, I have a ballista that I made in a Roblox studio. And not only does this look like a ballista, it also fires like a ballista. And there is no artificial forces being applied to this bolt, so all of the energy that it's generating is purely from the rope and the springs in my ballista. And so the way I accomplish this is using a combination of many constraints, such as springs, ropes, and a prismatic constraint, and a few hinge constraints here and there. And that led to this nice looking ballista that can shoot bolts pretty realistically. So in this video, I will show you the journey, the struggles, and the triumphs of making my very own ballista and Roblox Studio. And if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So, a few weeks ago, one of my subscribers DM'd me on Discord asking how to make a realistic looking animation for a bowstring for a bow that he was making. So I helped him out by referring to him to a few constraints, like a rope constraint or a prismatic constraint that could make the animation look realistic and have some physics. But that got me thinking, could I make a bow only using Roblox constraints? Well, there's one initial problem. Bows and crossbows in real life use something called a tension prod, which is like the wooden part of a bow or a crossbow that bends like the material to generate the energy for the arrow to fly you can't do that in roblox because all parts are rigid there is no bending and you could not generate energy out of it but with a ballista there is not that problem so the ballista was developed by the ancient greeks and its use was to take out heavily armored personnel and it looked sort of like a crossbow, but the biggest difference was the fact that, let me just draw out its frame for a second. This would be the barrel, so to speak, where the bolts would be loaded. A ballista could launch either rocks or bolts with like iron tips. So this is your little barrel. Unlike a crossbow, a crossbow would have like a little arch, which is like your wood, and it would get pulled back like by some strings, like here and there. A ballista uses two arms. So let me just draw out these arms. This is from a top-down view, and there would be other structures connecting the arms to, like, a little base. So let me just draw out this base real quick. There would be a little base right here with some wheels underneath it. So these arms maintained their energy, or rather got their energy, from some ropes that were tied in, like, a really weird way, and they were called torsion springs. And they consisted of several loops of twisted skeins. So let me get a picture of a ballista real quick just to show you. So here it is. You can see that there is these little ropes, either the skeins. And when they go back, it's really hard to pull it back. But it creates potential energy that is then released when you release the string. And the reason there's these little gears right here or crank so to speak is this is the winch for the ballista and it basically pulls back the rope because it's easier to pull back the rope with a winch than just like pulling it with your hands or something because this is pretty big and that allows you to bring the rope back you load the bolt and then you fire it so that's all fine but in a roblox the rope physics aren't Collidable, so you, I couldn't have any of those skeins or any of those things. But what Roblox does have that the ancient Greeks did not are virtually indestructible springs. So my idea was to make a somewhat invisible little part, say going from here to here, and this part would have springs. Let me get a different color real quick. Would have springs going from the arm to the invisible part on each side so when we were to take our ropes 
and draw them back. So these are our ropes. The springs would gain energy, and then once you reach the very back, like right here, you would release the springs and the ropes, and you'd have your boat loaded, and it would fly on the barrel, and the boat model would fly as well. And the way we're keeping our model together is by using a prismatic constraint down the middle of our part. And this keeps the ropes from messing up the part and keeps the springs from yanking the part in different ways. So this was my idea, and I went into Roblox Studio and got to work. So I finished my first prototype of the ballista, and I wrote a simple script to launch a brick at the wall. And it's changed a little bit since the time lapse. I added some wheels, and I changed the bolt to just a simple part so I could test it. And sometimes weird things happen because we are dealing with physics. But basically what happens is the arms wind back, you can see the springs attached to that part, and the part does not have can collide on. And then we load the bolt, and then the little tiny part connected by the two ropes pushes the bolt as we release our prismatic constraint. So our prismatic constraint rolls the little bolt pusher back, and then we release it. And this is all through setting the motor actuator type of our prismatic constraint. And it's pretty cool. But now all that's left to do is to create a better model for my ballista and just do a little bit of polishing. And here is the final product. So we're just going to go over how this works and what it's doing. So as I showed in the little infographic at the beginning, you have your two springs. And they each have a lot of stiffness. And you have your ropes. And so I ran into a big problem when making this new ballista. Because the prismatic constraint down the middle, this is what, what it's doing. You can go back and forth was like glitching out and the ropes were like keeping it from going it like drawing all the way back but the real problem was is that the ropes were a little bit too short because i have to set a length 
like a certain value. And since ropes are a lot less flexible than springs, even with their restitution turned to one, I just had to make the ropes longer. That's why they're sagging right here. And just make the springs a lot stronger. So it gives it more force. And then we also have some wheels on hinges just so it can roll. It sort of can roll. I'll show you in just a sec. And you got in the back, this is the part that you click to wind up the winch and shoot our ballista. So here is a script for our ballista. It's pretty simple. Let me just collapse everything to make it a little bit easier. Let's go down the very bottom. This is where we start. We basically have a debounds value. When we click on this part, and by the way, this part is the part back here, we check for debounds. If there's not debounds, we fire our ballista. And the fire function, what it does is we change the prismatic constraint to a servo and the prismatic constraint is already preset to go to position zero and then what we do is we set the uh, like the hinge actuator types of the winch things in the back just so it looks like we're like winding it back some cool animation and then we create the bolt we have to make sure to set the network owner of both the bolt and the ballista to the server. And so this means that the ballista is fully simulated on the server. So it doesn't lead to like glitches and whatnot with the physics and latency. And then we put the bolt in the right position. We wait a few seconds to get it into like to, for it to settle down. And then we fire our ballista. And what happens when we fire our ballista is we every frame we check to see if a ray cast from the front of our ballista to like one stud ahead of it hit something if it does then we blow up our ballista you could also weld it to the part that it hits i think blowing it up looks cooler and even though that wouldn't happen in real life i still think it looks pretty cool and there's like if you like this function, I tried to make it so you could move the ballista like with your character by like attaching to it. But let me just show you real quick. You can still move the ballista with your character to aim it, but it's kind of hard since it's simulated by the server. So like here's my ballista, I can wind it back. And there's a really weird problem where only on the first shot and only on the first shot will the rope bounce back. But that's why I had to add like a 1.5 second delay instead of a 1 second delay. But you can see, I can sort of aim the ballista. I can like move it around. I can move it forward maybe. Sometimes I climb it by accident. But you can still sort of move it. And you can see when I click this, it winds the ballista back and then fires the bolt forward. And the bolt itself looks pretty simple. All of those parts that you see there are just for show. There is an invisible part just like the prototype. The prototype's over there. And we just fire our ballista bolt at the wall. And there's one more interesting to note is the fact that we have this little rope cylinder right here that also does nothing. There's an invisible part here that pushes our bolt and you just don't see it because you just see the rope and that's just for show. And then here's our wall that we're shooting at. It's a massive wall. Every part is welded to each other and it just gives you a really cool playground to fire your ballista at. And so that's basically it for our ballista. And you can like fire at the wall, and you can see the wall will slowly start breaking down. And right now the ballista is, isn't that powerful. The bolts do not go that far. But you can always edit that by changing the stiffness of your spring constraints. So that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And I will have a model download in the description if you want to play around with this ballista yourself. But make sure to comment any questions or suggestions that you have. And this video is a lot of fun to make, so tell me if you like how I made this video, like with all the parts and the time lapses and whatever. But just a quick announcement, I just started school again, so my upload schedule is going to be a lot different than it has been for the past few months. I'll hopefully get a video out once a week. If not, I'll try to get it out like once every few weeks because I am 
a lot busier right now than I was in the summer. But make sure to join my Discord server if you want to keep in touch with me as well. But other than that, I hope you guys have a nice day, and goodbye.